Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Al Bayt Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Ghana up against Portugal. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important. Oh, what an opportunity. Can he finish? Well, going for power. What can you say about it, really? Not great. Good tackle. Andre Ayu with the try. And the keeper got there and comfortably. And the outcome is a free kick here. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. It's Bernardo Silva. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. He succeeds in clearing it. Now can they make something happen? That's a routine take. No worries for the keeper. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Idrisu Baba. And there it is, the half time whistle. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Andre Ayu. He's in with a chance. moving again what sort of response will we see from them now good tackle Rafael Leao routine really and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position oh, this could level it well, it might still work out for them. And Ofori has it now. Oh, what's the keeper doing? And back to Richard Ofori. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? And Ofori has it now. An own goal here. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. Andre Ayu. And we saw the situation developing. 15 minutes left for play. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. The save was a good one. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Must take the lead here. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. 
And time for the change now. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And back to Richard Ofori. Not really what you want to see from your keeper. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Oh, it's gone in, and that will be written down as an own goal. No wonder he's hanging his head. Well, no question about this. As you can see, this... And there is the final whistle. An evenly contested game, and both teams will have to be content with a point here on match. Welcome to the Al Faid Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, Derek, after their draw on the opening day, it's vital they get three points at home today. This should be an intriguing game, I think. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Federico Valverde. There to win it back. Andre Ayew. Well, a long distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. So, a personnel change then. Well timed tackle. Are you? And can they take the lead here? Well, last cast defending, but brilliant defending. Georgian de Arascaeta. Bentancur. Plenty of support here. Oh, big opportunity! Oh, tackled by the goalkeeper. Under real pressure here. He's foiled them on his own. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. And Ofori has it now. Oh, what's the keeper doing? And back to the keeper. Difficulties for the goalkeeper. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. And back to Richard Ofori. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. And Ofori has it now. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. A chance now with the corner. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Promising pass. Very much a run of the mill, and so it's go. Ibrisu Baba. 
Andre Ayew. Ayew. Jordan Ayew. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Went in strongly, decisively. But he's certainly not alone. And the keeper has the measure of that one. Cavani intercepting it intelligently and a tidy challenge Andre Ayew he's in behind well he had the chance he went for power he might be regretting that now well he got his angles all wrong there that's a poor miss Federico Valverde Williams, Andre Ayew, simple for the keeper dealing with that long-range effort. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Muslera with it. Cavani a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in well doesn't have to do it on his own but nothing comes of it good defending it was and with that the referee brings this contest to an end all square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. It's Ghana versus the Korea Republic. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. They've regained possession. Williams. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. Well, spot on with that challenge. Oh, nice ball over the top. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Mohamed Kudus. Andre Ayew. Now, what can they do from here? Is this the moment? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Can he find the right pass? Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Wang Ui Jo. Good tackle. Couldn't hang on to it. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Son. Getting forward. They could nudge in front. They had to react and did. Will it be? 
Well, a harmless effort when all is said and done. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, disappointing end to the move. Lee Jae Sung. Strong but fair tackle. Can he make it count? Is it going to be? That is a tackle and a half. Williams long range effort decent effort there well he has such good technique he really did hit that well he certainly came close there Lee Jae Sung Jung Woo Young well, since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here but now it is going to be a free kick after the second infringement Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. Williams. Oh, splendid skill. And he's through here. Can he convert? On his own, with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Now, they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. An effective challenge. Can they grab the lead late on? Must take the lead here. It was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Kim jin Su Keeping the opposition up. Can he finish? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. I do. Baba. Kudus. And uh, with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chances they did create, they were unable to take advantage of.